Hi everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we've got you a bit of a treat. We've got an all-in-one three-phase solar edge solar PV system with battery storage, backup interface, and we've done a separate video on the 22 kilowatt solar edge EV charger. Lots to go through, lots of panels to show you. Let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start inside because it's absolutely chucking it down over here in uh, Whiz Beach. So we are stuck inside where our plant room is, our little plant room corner that we've commandeered. And we've got pretty much everything here apart from the charger and the panels. I'll take you through all the bits. So we've got our three phase distribution board here, which I'll open up and just show you. Yes, I'm using a knife, I've got a screwdriver on me. So inside here, we've got our main switch for the property. We've got sub main out to the main distribution board, uh, which we had to rejig for this system. We've then got our EV charger circuit and our solar PV circuit. And then there's a spare one in there. We've got surge protection in there as well. I'll shut that now just to stop it flapping around. So out of there, we come out from our solar PV circuit into our AC isolator. Out of that AC isolator through this generation meter and then out of the generation meter into the inverter. So if you've seen a few of the videos, you kind of know that's the, the general gist of how these things work. So this here is our cable that is feeding back to the distribution board to then put all that solar power, not today, but put all that solar power back into the property. Or if we want to grid charge these batteries, that is the route that the power would take to, to charge those batteries up. So it's kind of a bi-directional route of, of power. This is our big chunky solar edge inverter. So it's a 10 kilowatt three phase inverter and it's the hub version. And it's the hub version because we've got this backup interface. So this is a, you might have seen these in a couple of other videos. That is a three phase backup interface. And so it will give you three phase backup. So some of the other stuff like the Tesla power walls, you can have them on three phase, but it won't give you all three phases in backup. It only give you one. These backup interfaces give you all three phases in backup mode. We can have up to five kilowatts on that as well. A house this big, it won't bring absolutely everything back on. If the customer was to turn ovens and everything back on, but it'll bring light in, internet, you know, all those things that we uh, hold dear now, fridges and everything like that. So this will work automatically and it has about a changeover of under 10 seconds. So I think we measured the last one at about five or six seconds. We then got some lights on. So we've got on grid, which is green, backup, which is off at the minute. If we're in a, a, a loss of grid, um, uh, state then the on-grid light will be off the backup light would be on because you might come home and not actually see it change over so it's got a little indicator there so you know that you are actually in backup mode You've got the communications there so we've got a solid blue light there to show that this is communicating with this and then a fault light we know that we're not uh, nothing's under fault so that'll sit there and just do an automatic transfer when the grid goes off if we go back over to the inverter we've got our solar panel cables. So we've got two cables that come down this, this side here, straight into our surge protection box right in the corner. They're also green, so we know there hasn't been any surges on the DC side, which is nice. We've then got two DC isolators. We've got the one for the main house, which are all those panels on the, on the beautiful main house there. And then we've got the garage, which are these ones and, and the ones just on the little uh, annex just there. They come through and then uh, up into our inverter just here. And that is delivering that all that solar power. I wish it was a nicer day today to show you all this, but uh, we roll the dice every time we do one of these videos. And then here we have our internet connection. So we've got a solid internet connection here, and then we've got a communications cable going down to our uh, batteries just there as well. Um, and there's actually another one. That's actually our internet cable. This, this other cable here is our backup system cable. These are our big chunky battery cables. They go down and into our batteries. So that'll deliver the power either to the inverter or from the inverter to the batteries, depending on if the batteries are charging or discharging. And there's an earth there as well, just to earth these, these batteries. 
We've got two stacks so that we've maxed out this inverter. So we've got five modules and that works out to be about 23 kilowatt hours of storage capacity which will be spread over the three phases. We've then got our customary document holder which hopefully you can see there and that's got our start stop procedure and our system schematic there as well which is uh, yeah which is good and uh, just lets anyone know what, what's happening in the system. That is pretty much everything that I can show you here, which means we're going to have to venture outside and I'm going to have to show you the panels. So yeah, let's go outside and have a look. Okay, so we've made the adventure outside and much like Rishi Sunak, I'm in the rain without an umbrella, but I'm going to show you these panels now. So we've got a great bank of them on the house here. So we've got, what are there? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we've got 20 on that main house just there. We've got two on the little annex part just there and there's another two on the other side of that. We've then got two, four, six, eight, ten on this part of the garage and another ten on the back side of that garage. So we've got 44 panels in total, which they are the Perlite 430 watt panels, one of our favourite ones. And that is about 18.92 kilowatt peak, all feeding back into that 10 kilowatt three phase inverter. We've got the DC coupled batteries as well, so that those batteries can charge directly from the solar and not waste any power if we are generating more. There's no risk of that today with the weather we've got, but it has been happening over the period of this installation being finished. So we're here today doing a little bit of other work on the EV charger, but with these, with these panels, I mentioned we've got 18.92 kilowatt peak, but because they're on so many different angles, the reality is we're not going to really ever achieve 18 kilowatt hours, 18 kilowatt peak. But the reason we like to put that many panels on is because during the winter time and other low generation times, a bit like now, every additional panel that we can have on that roof will collect an extra 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 watts. And that is all really helpful to make sure that we're, we're, we're putting as much power into this property as possible and keeping it as off grid as we can. We've got bird protection on this as well. So we've got the mesh just to keep those birds out. Because these tiles are fairly heavily dished, we can't use a solar skirt, but equally the mesh is quite, not invisible, but is quite discreet as well. So that, that works really well. All black as well, so the aesthetic of this building isn't ruined. Some people like them, some people don't, but gone are the days of those nasty blue panels that we used to see. So yeah, really nice and the customer is over the moon that they are now generating their own green power. So yeah, really, uh, really happy with how this one's turned out. So there we go, another YouTube video all wrapped up. This was a bit of a whistle stop tour of this one because we had very bad weather and we've got some work going on here. So we can't take you through all of the app on this one, but there's plenty of other YouTube videos where you can see the Solar Edge app and everything that that has to offer. But thank you very much for joining us. If you have any questions on this one, which I'm sure there will be, please drop them in the comments and I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that jazz and we'll see you on the next video.